Good morning, guys. I thought I would bring you along today because we're having a lovely girly day with April. You've been on my videos before, haven't you? Yeah, I think so. A, a few, few times. times. Maybe April. With the dog. <laughs> Yes, yeah, with DIY. <laughs> April's my brother's girlfriend, but we're coming for a lovely shopping day today. We're at um, Cabot Circus. You want to get wedding dress? Yeah, I've seen a not. wedding guest dress and some work clothes. Work clothes, I'm gonna hopefully look for some autumn, but I thought I'd bring you along to have a nice lunch. Yes. Hopefully, just a nice day. So, let's get going. We're here literally as the shop's open. Yeah. Like the keen, the keen beans. April's trying to convince me that I don't need another white dress, but this is beautiful. Um, I'm not gonna try it on, but it's from All Saints. How stunning is it? Um, it's 199, so I'm gonna wait to see if it goes in the sale. This one also has loads of makeup all over it, but I just think that that is so beautiful. All of that gorgeous detail. Considering this one in olive bonus, I think it could make such a lovely like bridal clutch. But then I'm not quite sure when I'd wear it yet. It's 45 pounds, which I actually think is really good too. Love that one. Might come back for it. Now I'm tempted by a bit of sparkle. And you know what? I never go for sparkle. But these are so unbelievably comfortable. They're too small for me. I'm being lazy and not trying on my actual size. But I just think, I mean, it would be for next summer now so pretty for evenings and they're really comfy and they kind of like they've got loads of movement to them april's now trying on some sandals too oh i mean oh they're quite small actually okay i love that they've got the gold detail on yeah them. i love these they're so pretty we've come into and other stories probably one of my favorite stores i've already found a few things to try on um partly this store is just so lovely big and quiet really easy to shop in we're in that weird time of the year though where it's not quite like autumn there's not like a lot of autumn stuff out um summer's not quite gone it's like that in between season it's a little bit difficult to shop in some like sale stuff left but not a huge amount of sizes um yeah are you feeling autumnal or are you feeling like i'm feeling like still ready for a holiday I want to feel autumnal, but the shops are just not touching. No, it's not, it's not quite there yet, is it? I tried this one on outside and already know that I love it. It's just a really simple cardigan. I wear these styles of cardigans all the time, but I really love that this one was cropped because I often wear things that like pull me in at the waist. Um, and I think it just looks so easy flung over something like this. Kind of like crops you in a little bit more. Oh, April, I do love this dress. Oh, God. I do. It's pretty. The colours are gorgeous. I'm not sure if it's the right size, but it's so pretty. Now, April, this one's different. I don't have this in my wardrobe, and I actually really like it. I don't know if it's a bit thick on me, though. Okay, it's not with this outfit. I actually quite like it. But <laughs> you know, like maybe with more of like a long sleeve top. I think it could be really nice. I actually quite like it. That I reaction thing. Just needs to be prepared. I mean, it Jonathan. doesn't. It doesn't go like this. So you need to be prepared for Jonathan's comments. With leggings yeah, and I like long really boots. Nice. I like it. I haven't checked in. We had lunch. We had both had carbonara. It was absolutely delicious. And then I popped back to get the shoes, and April got her sandal shoes too. And we went into Zara. Now we're at. I keep wanting to mix them up. Crab's Causeway. To hopefully go into John Lewis. You haven't still found your address. I haven't found a dress. I think I'm just gonna keep that one in Reese. She's ordered one online from Reese, so. Let's go in and see what we've got in here. Oh, and the white company, and maybe Home Sense. Yes, we will definitely do both. Could be here all night. 
I've made it into home sense. I'm sorry, I've been rubbish at filming. They've got these amazing bar carts, they're only 60 pounds. I think these are so lovely. They've got one with the black detail and wood, and also a lighter wood one here. Just think they're so lovely if you're in like a bit of a smaller place. And some of these also come off kind of like as um, trays. Very clever. Um, April is somewhere around here. She's going to be getting an ottoman for her desk. We've been looking at it. They've got some really good furniture in this store. Really lovely pieces. I'm tempted by a few. I really want some um, side tables like this that go over the sofa. I think it'll be amazing to have one of those in the middle of the sofa so Ollie and I can sit either side and put our drinks in instead of having to keep leaning forward to an ottoman. Anyway, my last April, where's she gone? Hi. This is the ottoman April's going for. It's got storage inside, which is really useful. All that in. I'm gonna power the <laughs> and it's gonna be like a dressing table. Oh, I thought that was something then. And it'll slot right under your dressing table. I think it's perfect. And it's only £40, pounds, which I really I just think is like a no-brainer. I think it looks cool. I think it's so handy as well with the storage inside. Maybe a little mark there. Oh, is it? There are another two up here, though. We've got some lovely, like, autumnal colours in here. Do you mean to get one down? No, put it off. Okay. Cool. Lovely. I'm just got in the door. Sorry if I was a bit all over the place today, but we were just catching up and chatting, and it was a little bit busy. It was so busy in Zara that actually we didn't try things on, but I did pick up a few things because I can always return them. And thankfully, I think I love them both. So I picked up this jumper, and I loved this detail over to the side here. It's got these gorgeous buttons coming down the side, and it's really nice because it's quite short at the front, and then it comes down a little bit longer at the back, so it's perfect to tie into skirts and stuff like this. And then I also got this skirt, which I'm not 100% sure about. It's definitely giving me those like lovely autumnal vibes, but I still think it's a bit summery and it's got this like lovely big slit up the side, which I just don't know if that's, that's still a bit too summery, but it's like a, can you even see? I, the color is definitely throwing it off slightly. It's a little bit like yellow in here. But it's a lovely brown and white. Um, I think it goes really nicely with this top actually, but I'm not sure. Not sure on the skirt. What do we think? Can it go with boots? I don't think so. I think the skirt might be going back, but love, love the top. And then the only other thing I picked up, I literally just thrown off my jumpsuit, is I picked up these shoes because I do think that they could be great for next year. I mean, they, they'll be great for all year round, but I thought that they could be really great for like kind of bridal wear, maybe even like later on into the wedding night if I just want to like totally relax and put some flats on. I think they're really elegant. Like usually I wouldn't go for much like glitz, but I just really fell for these. I think because they're so simple and like, as I showed in the shop, they're just so pretty. I always think my feet look so ugly in shoes. So I hate trying things on, but you guys saw them on in the store. That's what they look like. I think just so sophisticated and pretty easy, but with a little bit of a sparkle. I think these will be great for evenings in the summer when you don't want to necessarily wear heels. But I think I will pick you guys up on another day. Maybe I've ordered some things online, so maybe when some of the online stuff comes in, or maybe when I take this skirt back to store and maybe do a little bit more shopping. Anyway, see you in about a second. <laughs> Actually a few days later now, I'm just putting my socks and shoes on because uh, totally an excuse, but I need to um, send a card to my granny for her birthday and I thought I'd go to HomeSense. I mean, they're not near each other at all, but it's a great excuse. Anyway, I thought I would bring you along. I don't know what I'm looking for. This year I'm trying not to buy any specific autumn items. I felt like I had enough last year. And this year I really want to focus on things that we need for the house. Like all the fun things, like actual items of furniture. But we'll see. I may be tempted when we get in there. Also, everything is a little bit wild at the moment. My hair's wild, my eyebrows are wild. I'm actually having the full works this week. Well, to be honest, I'm always a little bit wild. But anyway, I'm having my hair done tomorrow. And I'm actually going to get my eyebrows laminated 
which I'm a little bit nervous about because if you Google it, there's some extremes and they obviously turn out very differently for different people. So yeah, I'll show you the results though, hopefully. Not, maybe not in this video, but I'm sure you'll see them because they last, I think they last like six weeks or something. Anyway, I'll take you along to that too, maybe. <laughs> And this is actually the cardigan that I tried on in Anne and Other Stories. I basically came home and ordered it straight away. I just thought it would go with so many things and it literally turned up today. I ordered another cardigan from them which I'll show you when I got back and that one's gorgeous too. I think it'll go so perfectly with other cropped items. Anyway, let's go. I actually think I can say I'm here because of one of you. So a lovely lady on my Instagram has been sending me loads of bargains. So kind of like Denelm dupes for Neptune. And one of them was a home sense blanket that she'd seen somebody had got, which was a cashmere blanket for $29.99. So don't know if we're going to be that lucky today, but I'm heading on in to see what I can find. That is basically what I'm looking for. I'm looking for blankets for the new lodger area that we're redoing. Feeling really like cozy and homely at the moment. I just want to buy like all the home stuff, but I'm trying to resist. These aren't showing up quite as orange on camera, but I want them. I'm not going to get them though. They're again $2.49. They're autumn, but I just think they look gorgeous. Like maybe three of them in the vase on their own. No cashmere inside. I think I might pick up this one though. Not for display. It's so soft and comfy for in a basket. I'm back. I picked up more things than I expected actually. It was quite a good trip. I went for the frame and I do think that it's absolutely beautiful. I have no idea where I'm going to put it and that's why I was hesitant to pick it up. But I think maybe when we do the master bedroom it could go in there. These are the kind of tones, sorry you can probably just see the window there. These are the kind of tones that I wanted to use in there, just really neutral. Um, but maybe some more like gorgeous pinks or mauves, um, yeah. But I'm sure there are so many places where I'll be able to put this one. Super heavy though, actually. Just picking it up there and wondering, we're gonna have to put something pretty steady on the back of it. But I think this is the kind of piece that would go really nicely maybe in a hallway as well. And that was 59.99, so not too bad considering, I just think, how stunning. I just think that's so pretty. All of those gorgeous shells, and at the back actually it's like a lovely linen. I don't know if I can show you any closer. There we go, material. And the other reason I think I might have said in store is that <laughs> the frame, you can't pick it up there, the frame looks really right, but the white, but the frame is actually in person a little bit more orange, but yeah. Love that one, I'd love to be able to put it up somewhere because we don't have many like pieces of artwork and I think this one looks more expensive than it was. Oh, it is heavy. Probably would have been better showing you that when it was down. I didn't find my cashmere throw, which is a bit of a shame, but I picked up this one instead. Super comfy, got that really like snuggle factor and actually the color and texture of it is really nice. Sometimes I think these can look a little bit cheap, but I think this one is definitely on the nicer side. It's not the kind of throw that I, would display over a sofa, 
but I think it would be perfect for like cuddling up in the evening and then popping it back in the basket. That was $24.99. We actually had, it's got like the fleece on the inside. We had one like this years back and we like, Ollie and I would like fight over it in the evening because it's just so gorgeous and warm. Um, but yeah, to be honest, I just want to keep that on me right now. So I'm going to do that. And then I got this one more of like a practical purchase. They did, I think I showed you, they had some like gorgeous autumnal ones but this was kind of on my like not quite autumnal but also gives a little bit of autumnal vibe that was 5 99 yeah not much to say about that to be honest couldn't leave without a candle could I this is a, like a pumpkin vanilla -y type smell by the company is it sand and fog yeah and it says simmering spices but it doesn't actually have a fragrance name on it so it's got a little pumpkin at the top but it smells gorgeous it's not too much it's the only autumn candle fragrance I'm gonna buy this year I've decided that I'm just gonna go straight into winter from the white company because they tend to find with autumn it seems like quite a short season unless you really get into it now but for well at least for our house right now still like a little bit warm to be burning autumn candles and then I also got this one, which is simply just a display piece. Lovely bit of round wood on this bit of metal. But I have a few of these. I have one up there from HomeSense, which has like marble or stone in it. And I have another one, I'm not quite sure where it is. Um, a much smaller one, which is I actually, I think it's up in our bathroom. So yeah, I really love these and I use them quite often. I thought a wooden one would be really nice because it's got that little bit darker factor. If I show you up here, that one was $24.99. Yeah, like that. I mean, I won't leave it there. And then I did go for some more of those glasses, but in the smaller style, I just thought, I mean, I know that HomeSense has seemingly had them for a very long time, but now that we're not sharing our kitchen anymore, I thought that would be really nice to get a few of these um, for smaller drinks to match our other ones. And they're just lovely quality. They're glass and they, I think, were 12 pounds. Yeah, 12.99 for the six. And that was everything I picked up from HomeSense. Actually, they have some really, really nice things at the moment. I feel like it felt really full there um, and there was just like a lot of stock. A lot of the throws and stuff were kind of like all piled up, like not in an untidy way, but there were just plenty of them so that they had a few on each shelf. Um, you know, sometimes it could be like super sparse at home sense. I did also get some more kitchen stuff is something that I'm looking out for because when we moved to this house and we knew that we were going to have a lodger, we kind of decided that we'd just like keep all of our old kitchen stuff. Most of mine I've had like I had before uni. So we're talking like eight to 10 years ago, like Kath Kidson mugs that I'd got when I was younger and stuff. So we're going to be giving that a little bit of a refresh. I'll show you some other ones that I got. They're currently in the dishwasher because they arrived yesterday. And these are them. That's the big one. So these are like the double walled glasses. My battery's flashing. No. Hang on. They're the insulated glasses basically and they are glass. They're so beautiful. I definitely copied my parents with these. My parents have these for their coffee machine. Um, and they're just really useful. They go in the fridge, in the dishwasher, in the microwave. You can basically do what you want with them, which I love because we chuck everything in the microwave and they don't hurt your hands um, when something's hot or cold. Yeah, or like, you know, when you have a really cold drink and it all it like condenses on the sides and then just like leaks everywhere. You shouldn't do that. So that's nice. I'm gonna get these out now. And then, it actually, this makes me really excited. I actually need to send some measurements to the architect who's gonna be drawing up our master bedroom, which will basically mean they have to make a decision because well, they're gonna want an answer from us on what design that we're going for, but we just decided that we really needed a kind of like 
exact measurements for that space to know exactly what we're doing because this is the first part in the project of this house where we're actually really changing things so yeah that's super exciting but I need to get some measurements over and some pictures over I'm just going to do that next and then maybe I will open up and pitch two rugs from Zara for that room makeover um Unfortunately, the one that I like, I couldn't get in the size that I wanted, so that's why I ordered two. So I'm going to have a little look at those. Sorry, it's a very like homey, lots of like kind of product video. Um, but it just so happens that uh, for me, it always like comes at once and I'm always doing like lots of these bits at once. But yeah, anyway, let's do some measuring now. This thing is literally the best if you're on your own. So, you know, excuse the mess in here. From here to here, can you see the laser? There. That's 3.97 meters. I mean, I'm not at the end of the room, but it means I can do this. I need to take all of the measurements around here and then pictures, but the room is an absolute tip. So <laughs> hopefully that'll be okay. I think I just had the camera super wonky, but I have emailed off those photos and a few other things. I've got a lot of wedding emails happening at the moment, but an update is coming, I promise. These are the two rugs, so I'm going to open the small one first. And annoyingly, I'm going to have to open them and show you them in this room, um, because there are a few bits in the back room now that I'm saving for makeover. Ollie just sent me this on Instagram. I don't need it, but I want it. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I love anything cozy. It's almost like he knows I've been shopping today for cuddly things. He has no idea that I've been to home since. Don't love it. Don't love it actually. It is super shiny, or at least in this light, it is really shiny. And it's a little bit more like silvery toned than I expected. So, well that's good, because that's the one that I thought that I liked the most. I thought was going to be too small. It's the same rug. I don't know what's happened there. I'm pretty sure I didn't order the same rug, and they're different sizes. And that one was out. Of stock in this side, unless they're just really similar. I'm so confused. Is that the same rug? I don't think I like it. Ordering rugs, trying to find rugs, is the hardest thing. They look so different to what they look like online. And guessing the colours is like near impossible. This one, I'm sure I didn't look this colour online, though maybe when I like unroll it, it'll look a little bit nicer. Hmm. That's a real pain because I basically centred that room around this rug. And I did have a quick look online when I ordered this one to see if there were like any other options. And I couldn't find any at really good price anyway, so. Hmm. Don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Actually, this one might be nicer when it's down. Let's see. Okay, so this is it down in the room. I mean, to be honest, in some places it doesn't look too shiny. Actually, on camera it doesn't look shiny at all right now. But I think I might actually try and look for an alternative because I'm not, 100% sold, it definitely would be going for this one which has these lovely warm tones in it. But 
we'll see. I mean, this one was only a hundred and something pounds, so really reasonable for a rug 200 by 300. It's not got a lot of like umph to it, as in it's, it's like super, super skinny and not like plush and comfortable, but I can always put something underneath there, like a bit of underlay. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little look online now and see what I can find. Because I basically need that rug ASAP. It is now much, 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 much later. In fact, I'm ready for bed. We've been doing life admin. And that's why we are still sat at the kitchen table. But I'm gonna sign this video off here. I will see you guys next week. Do you wanna say bye? Ollie's here now, by the way. <laughs> bye. Bye.